Switch back. Switch back. Hey guys, Urban Dead here. Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future of the Game. Oh boys. Now I did some thinking. I forgot that I have this thing. Since I can't get Doc to follow me, I decided I might as well try to record his conversation of muttering. H to the A multiplied by the inverse. Let me see if I can get it this time. Start mumbling. Oh, think, Emmett. Think. There we go. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. What in the heck is he talking about? Okay. <laughs> Guess he didn't like that very much. Sorry, Emmett. Okay, let's go and talk to the other Doc Brown. It's nice to know that I can actually walk without having to go through the gazebo. Dag nabbit. If only I had done that the last time. Uh, frustrating. Silly! Doo -doo. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I forgot how goofy the controls can be on this thing. Not that... There we go. Keep walking that direction, Marty. Keep doing it. Why are you flickering like that? Are you walking too fast for your animation, buddy? Maybe you are. Let's see if we can talk to Doc here. Psst, Doc! Marty! He How goes the escape plan? Okay, I recorded your muttering, because that's what I did. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, good lord, here we go. Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I good oh, grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? Goofy. I was gonna say intense. <laughs> I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, wound up like yeah, a top, buddy. But what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Of course it's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Hmm, of course. Well, Why didn't I think the of that? answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So, in other words, so, no? It'll be fine. Of course. Because you just spoke gibberish. Okay. Uh, I'll ask the formula one more what time. What was just H so I can... again? The Hamiltonian. Hamiltonian operator. Got it. Got it. I did. I got it. Okay, we're out of here. Hang Let's... in there, Doc. Not the best I got you choice covered, of Doc. words, Marty. Okay, then don't hang in there. Just lounge in there. Ding, ding. Okay, let's do this thing. La, 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 la. Okay. Love us walking all over the place. Oh, I got the controls right for a change. Where is he? Doc. Not that way. Why? Why you want to confuse me, Marty? Where is Doc? I wish I could control the camera bore. Hello, Einie. Here we go. I'm going to bug it. Will you just there we give go. me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime. Yeah, I got you. H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Damn. What did you just say? I said, I said genius H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott. If H is a Hamiltonian, then <sighs> H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it. That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week. Congratulations. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? I'm a geek. Um, mm. Let's do the Vulcan well, thing. It's like this. You know about my rocket power drill. Then there can only be one explanation. I'm from what? Planet Vulcan. You're from the patent office. Or, or that. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. <laughs> Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? I need your rocket. Oh, of course. Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning? I yeah, know. I need it now. Uh, I need it tonight. Now that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. 
It can't be done. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. What do you need? I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these yeah, days. Especially now, the especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. Why are you Besides, speaking my stuff, there's Marty? There's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill yes. today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. Oh, good lord. No! <gasps> Shh! It's Kid Tannen! Hey, There's that I, jerk. I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Ah. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Okay. Well, uh, my grandfather was at the soup kitchen, so might as well go... What the heck? What's Edna doing here? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the Our newspaper hot soup. business say. You're right in front of the soup kitchen. What's the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. Ah. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? <laughs> Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Uh, you make soup deliveries. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. <laughs> Lovely name oh, for I these places. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. It sounds it. I'll help you. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, yeah. Which ones? Oh, God. The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The Italians do so many <laughs> good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But oh God. if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. There you go. I got you covered. I uh, know. Hey, there we go. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? Um... The Orphanage. The Orphanage. My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. Okay. What's she doing now? Oh, look at her, stopping and looking both ways. What a smart lady. All right, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. <laughs> Mr. Donnelly! Okay. Now what's happening? That does not look like soup. Okay. I bet that's where they're hiding the booze. Let's go and find out for sure. Oh! Now I know why she was looking both ways. I'm going in. That's it. Well, see if my... Uh, well, if the booze is there or my grandfather's there. Either way, I'm going to head in here. Give me some soup. Do do. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for coming along. Obviously, he's needed in here. Charity. Oh, hey, cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. D soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Yeah. Right. Special. Okay. So the special hey, soup. Uh, what are you doing? Making I'm soup. Spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Great. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild. The so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just try the soup. 
Oh, I'm sure this is going to be delicious. It's cabbage. Well, uh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what the heck? A pipe. Take a look at the Looks pipe. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Okay. What the heck's going on here now? Probably not the smartest thing to knock something with your gun. Oh, wow. Okay. That was interesting. He has mad skills. I could never do that in a million years. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh. Let's see if we get back there. Okay. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Well, talk to Doc. Maybe he can help you. I'm assuming Huddle this up, is why he's here. Huddle? Just <laughs> listen up for a second. I guess I haven't invented football. Uh, I can't get into the kitchen. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Thank you. You're a genius, Emmett. You keep it up. Okay, let's go over here. If I can talk to Buddy Boy while he's working away at it. Hello, cue ball. Excuse me. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, used to be a soup this kitchen. This place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean, used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not Boy, that so well sound to do. Scripted at all. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. <laughs> okay. Why is Kid Tannen What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? He's a charitable Mr. kind of guy. Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant <laughs> and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the, the, just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. <laughs> Why is the soup in a barrel? Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess. a bowl soup. of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Please. I hate cabbage soup. I assume it's tasty. <laughs> he didn't go for a what second. What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was going to say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Add some Let's salt. See. Have you tried... Hey, we got salt. Salt? Salt? What do you think? It's too bland? Yeah. Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. Okay. Give me the salt. Okay, so he moved that thing. Aha! What can I do? Can I talk to him again? <clears throat> he seems okay. pretty involved in it. Hey, um, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Well, what's Doc working on over here? Is he still working on this thing? Uh, I no. Okay, now what? 
Oh, okay. There's a time thing. Okay, let me think. So... Got him. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end-of-the-month hobo soirees. Did <laughs> you move them out of the way? Not a chance. I could throw out my back. Oh, yeah, well, that's very important. Uh... What else can I do here? I wonder if I can talk to this dude that was over here. Maybe he's going to help me out. Hey, guy. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Well, there is always that. Uh, Doc's still busy. I guess I'll talk to Q-Ball again. Maybe um, I have to add a different spice. What is it, kid? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Chili powder. Tried... I saw that one on the list. Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Mike, oh, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. What the? Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Why is he using Actually, all my words today? I like it spicy, too. But it's got to be edible for the common folks. <laughs> then Come just on, add a little, a little bit. little dash isn't going to kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. <laughs> you got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? That's right. We're getting on his good side, you old cue ball. Why does it not make noise when he pushes that over? Doo doo. Love in my soup. What is that? What did I. I thought I saw something here. Oh, hold it. Eureka! Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What's the Eureka about? Just a second here. Oh, he did something. Okay, what did you do? I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Okay. Okay, let's do this thing again. So if I get him to add more spice and then fiddle with that thing, maybe? Ahem. <clears throat> what is it? Okay, we'll bypass this stuff, more ideas. I still think... And we'll skip over some of this stuff. Aha! Now he just does it. And then... Let's do this thing. Stack tables. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Okay, let's go touch the thingamabob then. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Well, what the heck? What am I supposed to do? Can I adjust the thingamabob from here? Oh, crap. Okay, one more time. Let's. It's a time thing. I hate time things. Cue ball. <clears throat> Bypass. What is it? Uh, ideas for the suit. Uh, still... There we go. Does his thing. Walks over. And then I'm going to go fiddle with the table. Get over there quickly, Marty. You're timed now. Get. Ah, stupid controls. Okay, can I do something with the door? Pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Okay. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds... Okay, fine. Oh, good lord. Sometimes you have to trigger stuff in order for it to work. So, tables? I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob... Okay. Oh, nuts. Hmm. Dang, damn it. Okay, we'll try this one more time. Cue ball. Uh -uh. Bypass, oh. bypass. I still. Bypass, bypass. Okay, can we do this thing now finally? Let's see if I can go to barrels. That was what it looked like I was doing last time. Yeah, is this it? Oh, goodness. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Okie dokie. So don't go that route. Can I do anything to stack tables? I hope Doc Jr.'s thing oh, about holds out. Oh, good God. 
So there's that. There's. Um, good lord. Jeez. One last try. One last try with this thing. And then I'll have to take a break. Let's go. Go over here. Unless I'm missing something, but I doubt it. <clears throat> what? Okay, we got some more ideas for you soon. Blah, 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 blah. And then quick like a bunny, Marty. Dig, nab it. Okay, well, I've tried everything. Try going through. No, get over there. Oh, I hate the controls some days. Is there anything else here? Emmett's invention. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Oh, good lord. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Oh, this is stupid. I got the contraption built, so it's obviously needed. Uh Huh. Now wait a second. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Yeah. You know what, guys? I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to stop and think on this silly puzzle. Er, is there a hint? Yeah, I got that. Uh, need another hint? Yeah, I'll take another hint. Oh, good lord. What? I've already done all this stuff. Right. Ugh. So I've already done everything. I must be missing something. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take a break here, like I said. And I will see you guys in our next episode of Back to the Future of the Game. I'm going to figure this stupid puzzle out. Anyway, guys, take care. Bye-bye. Push back.